Okay, let's go ahead and reboot. Okay, so let's try to boot off our UniBeast USB drive. I'm going to hit F12 on my keyboard. It may be F8 or delete or some other uh, combination or number on your motherboard. Okay, so we made it to the uh, selected boot device. Let's go to our USB UniBeast drive, which is this UEFI Patriot Memory PMAP partition one. Go ahead and hit return. Now, before we try to boot off that drive, let's enter our boot arguments or boot flags. Hit the right arrow. Go to options, space bar. Boot args is already highlighted. Hit return to activate that field. And dart equals zero is there by default. The NV disable equals one. Uh, we do need that for our NVIDIA GTX 970 graphics card, but uh, I'm not sure why it's already there. It's an anomaly, but uh, useful. NP. CI equals 0x3000. This is another necessary boot argument or boot flag. Yours may be MPCI equals 0x2000, but mine is 3000. And let's add verbose mode so we can see if there is an issue. Hit return to exit that field, down arrow, return. USB drive is already highlighted, so let's go ahead and hit return. So while in verbose mode, if it hangs up on a particular line, you can look it up and see how to uh, correct it or do something else accordingly. I'm gonna let that do its thing. And a lot of times the errors related to trying to install is maybe your thumb drive, maybe a USB port. For example, I can't use the USB ports that are on my actual motherboard. I have to use uh, one of the ports on my computer chassis you think it would be the other way around, but nope, it, that's how it works. So if you're having trouble with errors or anything like that, or it's freezing up, try again, because a lot of times it's just funky. It does not want to do it in, until like the second, third, fourth try even. Okay, so this is promising. We are at the uh, traditional Apple menu. And please forgive my lighting. I'm trying to avoid the glare, yet um, see what I'm typing here. So I do apologize for that. All right, looking good. Now chances are if you get to this screen, you are 95% there, <laughs> or 85%, I don't know. If it looks like it freezes up, hang on for a minute or so, give it some time to think. But usually when this pops up after verbose mode, then you're most likely pretty good. Okay, very good sign indeed. All right, let's go ahead and select our language. Okay, before we install, one thing we have to do really quickly is go to Utilities, Disk Utility, and let's reformat our hard drive. So I'm going to go ahead and, not your thumb drive, select the target hard drive, click Erase, and let's call it Sierra HD. Format is Mac OS Extended Journaled, and the scheme, GUID Partition Map, and simply click Erase, and that should be fairly quick. Okay, drive has been formatted. You can go ahead and quit Disk Utility now, and go ahead and click Continue. You read that? Sure. Continue. Agree. Once again, select your target hard drive. This Customize button here. That's just default, so you don't have to worry about that. All right, with your target drive selected, go ahead and click continue. All right, and that's going to be about 12 minutes or so. It may vary. Sometimes it's um, a little less, a little more, but um, I'm going to stop the video right here and I will resume once we're ready to move on to the next step.
Okay, we're back. Now, if you click restart or if it automatically restarts, you will most likely get an error message or it will not boot off your target drive because it's not quite ready yet. So what we're gonna have to do is boot off our USB drive yet again and enter our boot flags. And then instead of the USB drive, select the target drive. Then after we get to the uh, desktop there, then we can start doing our post installation. Now, if you see this, don't worry. Just go ahead and uh, hit reset. And let's go back to the boot device menu in our BIOS. So hit F12 or F8, delete, whatever your motherboard requires or your BIOS. Okay, let's select our USB drive again. And let's look at our boot flags. Right arrow, go to options, spacebar. Hit return to activate this field. And the dart equals zero. NV underscore disable equals one. We still need those. And we will also use this one again. N P C I equals zero X 3000. And because we installed Kex files with the Sierra installation, we now need text dash dev dash mode equals one and for good measure let's enter dash v for verbose hit return to exit that field down arrow return select your sierra hd drive and hit return and let's see if we can boot off of it so i'm going to let that run and it, if it looks like it's going to hang up uh, give it a moment or two don't be so quick to hit that reset button because it's most likely thinking okay this is good okay select your region Select your keyboard. All right, now this menu, you can transfer your information from your other Mac or PC or uh, startup disk, time machine backup or whatnot, but I don't like to do that just yet. I wanna get the machine properly running before I start copying everything over because you may have to dump everything. Um, but don't transfer it this time. And also your software, I highly recommend you go ahead and do clean installs and things like videos, pictures, movies, um, music and whatnot, uh, documents, you can import using the migration assistant. I may do a video on that, but that's fairly simple to do. So I'm not gonna transfer anything at this time. Enable location services on this Mac? Sure, if you're using maps or anything like that. All right, real important. If you have an existing Apple account, do not log in just yet because we're gonna have to do a fix to get messages working. So logging in right now might mess up uh, the whole thing, so don't do it. Don't sign in. Skip. Agree. Agree. Okay, this is where you enter your name for your uh, local account. All the cool nicknames are taken, so what are you gonna do? Enter your password. Okay, confirm it. Click continue. Oh, good match, huh? Okay, bye. Okay, look at that. You can choose to share this information or whatnot. <clears throat> to my understanding, it's fairly benign, but I don't like uh, things running in the background, so I'm not gonna do that. Enable Siri, uh, you can choose to enable Siri or not. Okay, you're setting up your Mac. Okay, congratulations, you made it to the desktop. Now, 
very important. Once you're at this stage, you should do a backup of your hard drive because um, if you're like me, it probably took several attempts to properly boot off the USB drive. Some of you, it may have worked the first time, some of you the five, fifth, 10th, 20th time, whatever. Um, so backing this up, make a proper clone. And if your pulse insulation using multi beast of anything goes weird, you can restore from that clone and not have to go through all that um, backing up again or uh, booting from the USB drive. And that'll save you quite a bit of time. Okay, so uh, next we'll be moving on to the multi beast pulse insulation. Please remember to like and subscribe below and check out the next video. Thank you.